Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Around five or six years ago, a new feature was introduced in Lightroom that was met with a lot of fanfare. Over the years, though, that feature has seemed to fall in through the cracks, and a lot of people aren't talking about it as much. And I'm wondering if many of you that are newer to Lightroom even know what it is. That feature is Smart Previews. Uh, if you're one that keeps your images on an external hard drive, Smart Previews could be of great benefit to you. In this video, we're going to talk about Smart Previews, uh, what they are, how to use them, and what their limitations are. Now, for this example, I have this image of this bird, and you could see that I took various poses. And these are all unprocessed raw files and on my system I happen to keep my images on an external hard drive I call it Lightroom and on that Lightroom external hard drive I have all of my Lightroom images including the images of this bird and those of you that keep images on an external hard drive probably know that if that hard drive isn't mounted to the system and you open up Lightroom Lightroom will not be able to find the images, nor will you be able to edit those images. Well, you could do that with a smart preview. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the image of the bird looking to my left, and we're going to build a smart preview for that image. And to do it, all you need to do is be in the library develop module and go over to the histogram. You see where it says original photo? Just click right on that and it will ask you, do you want to build a smart preview for this photo? And it says that the catalog currently has one smart preview. So I actually have one entire smart preview somewhere in this catalog of 60 something thousand images and it totals one megabyte. That's the key. A smart preview only takes up one megabyte of space, whereas the original file, depending on, you know, what megapixel camera you're using is probably somewhere between 30 and 60 megapixels. So a smart preview is a lot smaller and you'll be able to edit the image. But again, there are a few limitations and we're going to talk about them. So I'm going to build the smart preview and then it's going to tell me that it's built. Now you look over here and you can see it says original plus smart preview. Now if I click on any of the other images, you could see it just says original photo. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close down Lightroom. And once Lightroom closes, I am going to eject this Lightroom hard drive. So I'm just going to right click on it. Click eject Lightroom. And it takes a second and say, saying that it might be used by a program. Just force eject. Nothing's using it. Force eject. And you can see, okay, it's ejected. So it's no longer mounted on my system. Now I'll open up Lightroom again. And once Lightroom opens, you'll notice that on those images that I did not build the smart preview with, uh, that it says the file cannot be found. Everything's grayed out over here. I can't edit anything on all three of those images. You can see the film strip thumbnails have little exclamation points in the top right hand corner that's indicating that the file is missing. But then when I click on that one image of the bird that I built the smart preview with, I'll be able to edit it. So I could do edits now on, on this image. Full edits. Nothing's limited as far as editing in Lightroom. Also, you could print what uh, Adobe says are medium-sized prints. And a medium-sized print is usually smaller than 11 by 14. So 11 by 14, 8 by 10, you could print a, a good resolution print uh, with a smart preview. But I mentioned there are some limitations beside those large print sizes. Probably the biggest limitation is if you right click on the image and you want to send it to a plugin, so I go down to edit in, you'll see everything's grayed out. So I won't be able to edit this image in any plugins at all. I need the original raw file, or even if you're not shooting raw, if you have the original JPEG, you're going to need that to send to any plugin. So that is probably the main limitation. Now, if you're using an older version of Lightroom, uh, an old, I think, I think it was Lightroom 6 and earlier, I, I don't remember, but if you're using an older version, you also won't be able to merge panoramas or 
HDR images either. But with newer versions of Lightroom, I'm pretty sure that that has been uh, enabled for Smart Preview, so you now can do it. Now, if I do go through and I edit this entire Smart Preview, as I mentioned, I, if I want to print it, I could print a medium size or smaller print with it. Also, as soon as I hook up that hard drive again, all these edits will be synced with the main file. So I don't have to go in and try to sync edits manually. They'll all be done automatically. So then I could, once I do hook up that external hard drive with the original image on it, I could print larger size prints. If this was a series of images of HDR images or something like that, or something I, I shouldn't say that, if it was an image I need to send to a plugin, I could do that. And if I was using an older version of Lightroom, I could do HDR and panorama uh, once it's hooked up. Hope that made sense. I kind of confused it. But there is uh, really a great advantage to smart previews. Um, since they're relatively small, usually around one megabyte in size, they don't take up a lot of space on your hard drive. Um, and then let's say you're out and... Um, when I use Smart Previews most often is when I'm on vacation and I have my uh, laptop, my MacBook with me, and I have the external hard drive with me. But what I'll do is when I import images, if I go to the import dialog, uh, what you'll see is over here on the right-hand side, there's a checkbox to build Smart Previews. So what I'll do is I will import the images uh, with Smart Previews being built as they're being imported. Then I could eject that external hard drive. I don't need to keep it on the system because it's kind of clumsy in a hotel room to have that you know, cord and external hard drive uh, on the system. And then I could edit my images. I could share them on Instagram, which I most often will do, or share them with friends or family or something like that. Um, just fine. I don't need the original image for that. Then as soon as I do plug in that hard drive and open up Lightroom, all the edits get synced to the original image and I'm good to go. So that's it. Smart previews. Do you use them or not? Were you aware of them? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.